god. Camera angle went then, didn't it? <clears throat> okay, hello and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's the second one in the same day for me. It's been about, excuse me, 10 minutes since I filmed the last one. Hence the same clothes. Um, this one really is just a quick and dirty video. Um, not dirty. I don't know why I said dirty. That's a saying, actually, isn't it? Quick and dirty. Is it? I can't remember. Anyway, this one is very quick. And I just i am going to show you how to make LED real lights work. Um, so your real light slash brake light and indicators. I'm going to show you the wiring loom. Um, basically, I'll put on screen the... Components, I think is the correct word what you need and then just follow my wiring loom as a guide just put the things in the same place and it will work or at least it does for me so it should work for everybody else it's quite windy so actually i'll tell you now what components you're going to need and i'll put them up on screen so you're going to need two of these what are on screen now and the name has vanished out of my head um resistors i think i'm almost certain the resistors i'll put up on screen what to search for to buy them. You need two of those, one for each side. They are going to make your indicators work. And to make your brake lights work, uh, you're going to want two diodes. Again, that will be on the screen right now for you to have a nice little look at. Um, just buy the ones what look like these and yeah, they'll work. I'll go and show you now. I have got um, like a microphone cover. I don't know if it's gonna work. So if it is incredibly windy, I do apologize, uh, but let's just go and show you what you need to do. Right, okay, it's just a quick clip of them actually working. Um, so if I unlock it, there's your indicator, that works fine. And, uh, Normally, if you don't put your diodes in, what's going to happen with your brake lights is every time you brake, uh, your stereo is going to dim and it is going to say that your side lights have come on when they actually haven't. So you need these little diodes. Um, I've already unscrewed it, so let me just... <laughs> That's tight. That's what she said. Or he said. Right, we've got that off. So, here we are, this is what you've got to basically copy. Right, here's your resistor. Um, I don't recommend leaving it like this because that's quite putting some strain on it. But you're going to want to look at your indicator one and you're going to have one wire what's going to go up to the brake. Um, you're going to have a black and white one and you're going to have another black one. Now, your other black one goes into the loop. You're going to want to put one end, splice into it, and uh, solder that one together. And then your other one wants to be on the black and white one, which also goes into the loop, so not the one going up there. Splice the other end into that. Doesn't matter which way round uh, this goes, it will work either way. Um, yeah, so you're just going to want to cut it, strip the plastic back, solder it all back together with the third wire in, and go into this. And then that will be your indicator working. So it won't blink rapidly fast. It'll just work as it should do, as if it was a normal bulb. And then for your brake light. So as I said, normally when you would brake, it would dim the stereo. The green wire, what you want to do is, you can't see it because I've put a shrink wrap on it, but there is a diode in there. So you just want to cut the wire and attach a diode in there, solder at either end. You can use electrical tape if you really want, but I would recommend the heat shrinking stuff. It's better for it. And that's it. So if you want to have a look at that, uh, black and white wire and the black wire, both what go to that is what you want for the resistor. And this one, you want a diode in the green. Bear in mind that the diode has to go a certain way because basically if you don't know what a diode does 
it stops um, a current coming back down the wire and that's why the LED before would dim your radio because some current because an LED doesn't take as much power it will come back down so you want a diode in which basically makes it a one-way wire and then it will work fine no problem so there you go also just a quick note your resistor um, sticky tape it to the bodywork because these get really hot when you indicate for a long time so you know when you start lights and you've got your indicator on I'd advise against it uh, don't stick it to the light it will melt the plastic stick it to the bodywork some thick double sided like foamy tape a bit of heat resistance then you're good to go right okay um, that's it that's all you need to know um, just a, on a quick side note, uh, if you're thinking about buying the auto beam uh, LED lights, you don't need to do any of this for those because they've got like built-in resistors and stuff. They are very expensive though, so I recommend these. All you need to do now is just go on eBay and look Either for beans, the me. correct bulbs, obviously. But just pick whatever like LED pattern you want. I wanted the ones with loads of like dots on it. Um, they should all work. I don't really don't see why they wouldn't. And yeah, just pick what you want. Also, reversing bulb, you don't need to do anything for that. You can just put an LED bulb in the reverse and that'll work fine. That's all I've got for you. Um, that is how you make LEDs work in the back of a Fiesta Mark VI. Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you with whatever you need. So, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want like the video all that it's up to you um and i'll see you in the next video hopefully bye <laughs>